Hi, I'm Sandy from I Love History um, and today we're cooking. Hi, I'm Sandy from I Love History. Today I'm doing a cooking video. I can't cook, I don't cook very often. Um, because of the disability, I can't actually stand to cook in the kitchen very much. So you'll see everything's done from chair height because I uh, use that chair, you can see. There. There it is. Um, but I'm feeling well today, so I thought I'd have a cook. Um, as part of my son has home education, so as part of his home education, we're looking at some medieval food. So again, I'm not an expert on medieval food at all, but we've got a recipe. Thought we'd try it. And because my house goes up and down, I tend to use a slow cooker, so I'll cook something when I'm feeling okay. Put it in the slow cooker to be able to eat it tonight. So, as a result, we're looking at the medieval recipe blancmange, um, which literally from the french just means white to eat white food um it's a recipe comfort eating and um, mildly spiced it was eaten a lot especially during lent and the number of spices in it would depend on how rich you were how wealthy you were again not an expert on this either but we've got sainsbury's and we had a sainsbury's delivery this morning so we have it spiced with what they sell in sainsbury's um i'll guide you through what i did and um Hopefully you'll be able to give it a try yourself. I've adapted a lot of the things, partly to the disability and partly to modern way of life. And especially because I've got some picky eaters and if I'm lucky, they'll eat the chicken. So you need a frying pan, um, slow cook if you're gonna do it my way. We've got ginger, we've got pepper, we've got cinnamon, we've got nutmeg, we've got almond milk, arborio rice, chicken. And the first thing I need to do is line my slow cooker out and divide it from where I'm gonna put the stuff with the spices and the bland stuff. And then you also need apple juice and vinegar, um, which I'll explain in a bit. So start off by heating the oil and cooking the chicken. Now I've just put oil in there and I'm just making the chicken white. Um, with hindsight with this, I'm making it afterwards. This is the way to cook it. You don't need the slow cooker, just cook it like this. But anyway, brown your chicken, partly cook your chicken. Um, just on a very very low heat because obviously I was going to stick it in the slow cooker as it want it completely drying out pop it in the section where there's not going to be any spices and um, it can it can poach itself there for while everything else is going on um, a chicken stock stock pot goes in there that's not authentic medieval and some almond milk um, not medieval almond milk almond milk from Sainsbury's as I've mentioned before um, use the whole litre up in this what i did is i've kept the chicken fat um off the heat but kept the chicken fat going because then i need to come on to um working out how much fluid we need now so using the recipes for the risotto on the back of the box of the rice um i worked how much fluid i'd need for the whole box um i got a litre of milk so i then needed to make some crab apple juice in medieval times verjuice was used in quite a lot of recipes didn't have any so i figured if i put vinegar in apple juice it would taste like it and I, it might it might do i did that with cinnamon sticks into the um oil and then also grated half a nutmeg into the the frying pan and um sorry about the camera work here it's really hard to do when you've got the chair and everything else going on and um ground white pepper i think i put about half a yeah half a teaspoon in there seasoning wise it was spot on quite bland but it was there um ginger needed to get that ginger in there wasn't sure how much to use just chopped it up and i used a garlic mincer to squeeze it into the into the um food which was a mistake because what it did was then just clock it up and i got a load of um ginger juice into it as well splashing it everywhere it's why it's like the swedish swedish chefs off the muppets in there and then um all that mess all that going on added all the rice in there at once i wouldn't do it like this normally i'm sure i wouldn't i wouldn't do this if i was making a risotto but anyway I decided to do it that way and basically the theory was i'd cook it until it absorbed the fat and the liquid and it had started to go clear and absorbing the flavors that way um, whilst I'm doing this, I've got my dad wandering around behind me. My toddler is in a nappy, stood inside the cat litter tray, eating a, an ice cream. And um, all hell's breaking loose, really. But we're still, we're cooking. It's fine. Um, really, this needs to be done fresh. The slow cooker wasn't a good idea. The rice went really stodgy. Um, but the flavours, we quite like the flavours. It was just really quite hard to eat. Um, 
doing this, I said, taking your time and warming that stock up. Um, I think it was about one and a half litres I used in the end. Um, it might do with some wine going in there. You might want to put some onions in there. Um, you could possibly put saffron in there. Um, maybe some black pepper as opposed to the white pepper, long pepper if you can get hold of it. Um, there's no sort of right or wrong really, but it's just using up your white foods, giving you this like warming um, comfort food to eat. Um, you can also use fish rather than chicken. So then the closest thing I get to being a chef is when I just taste it to make sure the spices are okay and I haven't overdone it with the pepper or anything. Um, this is just showing you, this is how I have to cook. I have to sort of sit that height. So um, I make quite a mess on my tops really, to be honest. Um, so I'm trying to do that and manage everything in the kitchen is quite tricky at times. But then decided to pop some salt in there, more to bring the flavours out than anything rather than to make it salty. And... Um, I think it's a filthy, filthy stove after all the splashing around like a muppet. And then, basically, as it started to crystal, like, to, um, to go see through, um, decided that was the time to stick it in the slow cooker. That all goes in the slow cooker there. The chicken's in the other part, but that's the bits with the flavour in And just literally emptied the rest of the carton of milk into there. So that's the almond milk going in. Um, I've left the cinnamon sticks in there, but again, with hindsight, possibly that, that develop a bit too long because the... It was quite like a rice pudding when we ate it, I'll be honest. Um, so that's in there. Um, also, I didn't leave enough space. I put way too much rice in there, so we ended up with like a, a brick of rice that you could slice. But um, as I said, I'm not a cook. This isn't how to cook. This is this is what I did today, <laughs> rather than how to do it again yourself. Um, so then, splash of almond milk still in the frying pan because I'd left it on the heat. And then I'm emptying in um, slivers of almonds there. And I'm just going to cook them off with butter. So cooking them in the pan with butter, the bit of almond milk. And I did it till they started to just start to turn because knowing I was going to serve it later, I um, was going to cook them up later, which I did. But then, of course, I burnt them. But my son did say it smelled amazing, but wasn't willing to actually try it. And that's it dished up. Um, we had it with bread and... Um, it's actually quite nice and I will make it again. I just would cook it fresh next time and not use the slow cooker.